it's Luis Martin, the art engineer, and it's September. It's mid-September already. You should have gotten your collage kit if you're a member. So greetings to all the members, all the new members, Amanda and Evelyn and Johnny and Peter and Juan. Um, it's September and we're in the studio and I hope you are enjoying your particularly thick September issue. We were like, yeah, let's do like Vogue does. Let's, let's put everything in the kitchen sink in it, including stickers. I hope you like these stickers and I hope after you create your collage, you think about creating your own stickers and then go around town and plaster them all over the place. Uh, have your own art exhibit, I think. My jazz is too loud. All right, so this is unboxing. Um, this is the studio, our safe space. I hope you have your kitchen table, the floor, wherever you are, take up some room. So come on over, let's see what we have inside this month's kit. All right, so we all voted and we all chose this collage as the cover. And you know what? There's a prompt on the other side of this label and a lot of people didn't realize that. So I had to uh, state it. So now art prompt on opposite side. So this art prompt is all about an image dump. So what we're going to do is we're going to do what we always do. We're going to go through our kit and pull out the things that we like, right? You're always gonna get my diamonds because I'm giving you abundance, I'm giving you life, and I want you to just be in luxury at all times. So, oh, fun, okay. So this is gonna be my good pile, this is gonna be my later pile. I don't know, I like this king. Oh, ha ha, okay, so right off the bat, super exciting stuff. This is one of my favorite things. I found a whole roll once and I've been using them and sending them out nonstop. I hope you like it. We have some moody black and white and we know what to do with black and white, right? From our last prompt, <gasps> some vintage stuff. The queen, God save the. Um, oh, dots or dots or classic dots. I might be moving on with these dots, you guys. I, I might be evolving as an artist and taking you with me. I don't know. I'm never leaving these guys, so this we can count on. We have letters, our beautiful dots. Wait, I almost forgot. Behind the camera we have... The one and only Elvis. Rude, I almost forgot my husband. All right, let's see. We have a beautiful nasty here. Oh, we have Winnie the Pooh. Oh my goodness. All right, also let it be known that sometimes I send you stuff that you don't even have to collage. This you can put on your wall and just be inspired by it. Like, look at this. This doesn't need to be collaged or anything. It's like the line is made out of people and other animals. I mean, gorgeous. So don't feel the pressure to have to cut everything up. Do put these on your wall. Let them give you some inspiration, some ideas, and they'll affect you in ways you won't even know until much later or until someone else points it out. And always look at the back. Oh, Egypt. Check that out. Oh my goodness. This is fun and I'll tell you why. Because it has text that I don't like. So we can use this as our challenge, right? To create a collage around it to cover these things. Keep that in mind. Uh, more black and white. A moody person from the 90s. Gorgeous, oh my gosh. More letters, check this out. I'm telling you, we're generous this time. This is really fun. This is a beautiful image. I'm starting to sweat so I know that I'm having a really good time. Love it, love it. Graffiti. Oh, check that out. This is something that might go on the wall. That's cool. Uh, so this is from a book that we had on um, cafes, restaurants, and hotels in New York. And you know what? Sadly, a lot of these places are closed now. So this is such a beautiful image of a New York past. Oof. You know how we feel about flowers. You know how I feel about stickers. So in your kit, you got two sheets of stickers. If this is a background, then you know these are stickers. Check that out. Love that. Origami paper, oof. Love this color. Love this color, but I will use it. Ooh, and a beautiful block of purple. And my stickers, hey, if you want to collage with the stickers, go right ahead. All right, so I'm going to do this image dump that I was telling you about, where I'm just going to take out some things, like perhaps this. What the hell is this? I don't know. Let's play. So before you know it, it's fall. 
And uh, I don't know where you're at. You can be in Nevada. You can be in France. But we're in New York. And here, fall is the most glorious time of the year because the seasons change and the leaves turn orange just for like five seconds. But it's such a beautiful sight. We like to go up to Woodstock or to Poughkeepsie and uh, go look at the foliage. Such a such a non-LA thing to do. I never heard of that until I moved to New York. What? You're gonna go look at foliage? Uh, but it's beautiful. So take a look around and see what fall brings us this time around. Image dump, so I love this. And I have my substrate. You know, I rarely use this because I like to go big, but let's use it this time around, right? And what I mean by image dump is sometimes they don't have to gel. Sometimes it doesn't have to be a narrative. It doesn't have to all make sense. And if you create, maybe you've seen in a magazine where they put all of these objects next to each other and they're not overlapping, they're kind of just there. And there's a neat thing that happens because you're like, okay, what do these things have in common? How are they different? How could a narrative come out? And when you are ever in a stoop, not in a stoop, because that's a place. If <laughs> you're ever not inspired is what I'm trying to say. Um, a good thing to do is again, point at the things that you're inspired by in the collage kit, in a book, and uh, cut them out, see what happens. And put them on a piece of paper and, and invite them to be something. I don't like using Disney characters, but you know what? This guy's too cute. I love a guy with a belly. So let's play with Mr. Pooh. So at any moment, if you've made a collage that you really like or you really loved making, it's a perfect opportunity to create a series, right? So if I, for whatever reason, go gaga over this collage with Pooh at the center, you know what? Maybe I need to make a collage series with Winnie the Pooh. Forget copyright infringement but maybe it'll take me to my next step as an artist, right? Talking about next step, I hope you are doing the collage prompt weeklies. If you're not buying the classes, which you don't have to, you can still do them for free. And I think there's just enough information in the prompts to get you going even without the classes. But get the classes, they're amazing, and we have such a great time filming them. Um, I say bad word, no, I'm just kidding. I'm a little bit freer, I can play music uh, without copyrights. Um, but the one that this week is hashtag giants. So go for it, what, what, what could that mean? So look, I have my little Winnie the Pooh here and already narratives, but I don't want it to be about a narrative, right? I just kind of want to do an image dump for now. But look. If you don't want copy, copyright infringement issues, look, who's not there? He is there, but he's not there. And what, what can we do? We could create our own poo. And then we realize that poo is actually a cat. Isn't that fun? So have fun, you guys. That's, that's the whole point of this. I mean, I would never post this on my Instagram, but I can have fun, right? So anyway, so that, that was that. So let me play with this now. And then I had this beautiful image of a jungle. Wow. I mean, yes, definitely inspires me. So I'm gonna take my CD and cut myself a window. What's your favorite part of fall, Elvis? Um, I definitely like the weather. Yeah. It's not too hot, it's not too cold just right. Yes, that's definitely true. The weather's been crazy though. Oh, look at this, I love this, okay. Okay, so we said it was an image dump and I already broke my rules, but you know what? I didn't become an artist not to follow, to follow rules, so look at this. It almost looks like Winnie the Pooh's like a Ghostbuster and he's like doing something here, right? Um, and then I have this king that I might, oh no, look at that. Sorry, King. 
This is so cute, and I'm so against cute, my friends. <laughs> but this might have to do. So again, started with an image dump, but see, it kind of, it, it took a turn. And you have to be limber, so let's go with this. And like I like to say in the prompts, this is not about making art for the loo. It's about having a conversation with our hands and uh, trying something new, allowing ourselves to go there. How funny would it be if it's like, he's nasty. So this is really fun. Especially when we're talking about the, the prompts, you can go literal if the giant in your collage is gonna be, you know, a Jack and the Beanstalk giant, that's fine, go for it. But if you can go the other step and be a little bit more um, theoretical about it, and kind of hide it a little bit like this. So I'm not overtly saying that Pooh is nasty, because I could do that, and yes, but we create intrigue when we kind of hide it a little bit, right? We're kind of flirting with this idea that we're calling Mr. Pooh nasty. And now that I think about it, that's really gross, because his name can be uh, an innuendo. At any rate, we <laughs> move on. We move along. All right, so liking this, and you know, just to protect ourselves from copyright infringement, we can change the integrity of, of it. Ooh, yes, I like this a lot. All right, this is going somewhere. Now, don't you worry if you decide to show Pooh's face, Disney will not come after you unless you want to make a series of t-shirts unless you want to claim it as your own so you be creative you explore you cut you do whatever you want um and if they do come after you it's kind of a good thing because then you become infamous it's the first step to becoming famous right so don't you worry about it you be creative do whatever feels right to you i like this and oh it could also be a z now, I love to use these damn dots. I just love them so much. Um, but I do want to explore. I want to grow as an artist. So I don't know, maybe I won't be including so many dots, but we do have a lot so <laughs> to share. So we, we have thousands. We have thousands of dots. So don't you worry. Maybe this is just my personal journey. You'll still get your dots. Um, <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm a typical Gemini. I can board very easily. As a matter of fact, not only am I a Gemini, I'm also super dyslexic and have attention deficit disorder. So, you know how I read books and I love to read? I read books 10 pages at a time. And then I let it down and then I get the next one and read 10 pages at a time. That's how I keep interested, honestly. You gotta do what you have to do to get it done the way it works for you, right? Um, so no shame in the process. However you get there, as long as you get there, that's cute. Oh, Mr. Pooh, you're so cute. Yes, I'm liking this. All right, we're just having fun here. I did like that weird machine I cut out. It almost looks like a spotlight. It does look like a spotlight. What is, what is Pooh spotlighting? Now you can't see Nasty at all, which is fine. Unless we put it behind him. And he really looks like a Ghostbuster now. Oh, I love that. Right? You remember the Ghostbusters? They had that ectoplasm machine or whatever. So it was like a jetpack. Like a jetpack? Yeah. So this is cute. This is cute. I won't be posting this on my Instagram, but it's teaching me a thing or two. All right, so let's, let's add a few more things. And I think we are getting closer to a collage. We could use these stickers. Let me see what else I have. I love this uh, pink that we're, this like color scheme that we're going with here. So cool thing to do with these also is, you know, challenge yourself. It's, it's super pretty, it's done, but you can also play with these and uh, challenge yourself. What if I cut it in half? Right, what happens then?
Hmm. Where do I want to put this? Oh, what if I put it back here? Right? So I just kind of expanded it, and now it, it, it can work on different levels. Um, I still want more. I'm not quite happy with it yet. So I said I had stickers. His own. Is that what he needs? Is he missing his honey pots? All right, let's let's give him a honey pot. No need to be cruel here. So that's a big part of uh, my collage process. When I'm collaging, I do allow narratives to come into my heads, and I do let that guide me. Right. So right now I'm thinking, oh, poor Pooh. He's sad and listless because he misses his honey. And that will kind of give me something to, to hold in my head to kind of guide me to make my decisions, right? And look, his honey's right there, but he can't see it because he's blindfolded. See? The, the plot thickens. I love this. And I had graffiti too. Look at this. This is kind of fun. So let's see what else do we have here. Wow. Maybe one more thing that will take it to the other side. And um, I'm thinking it's gonna be this. If you can sneak in some torn paper in your collage, you get five extra points because it's just so awesome, right? It just, look at that, just, it's just, just something. Just, it says this is a collage, that's what it says. And, uh, and you get extra points for that, so. Do it, show me, send you the points. So I always refer back to this one incident I had with a workshop I was doing with these teachers for Magnolia Elementary in California, uh, which is where I went to school, which is where my aunt went to school, which is where my dad went to school, and now my aunt works there. So I was doing a workshop for her and her colleagues, <laughs> and all of the teachers, um, all their collages went outside the substrate. They used this block, but they went, they went all over the place. And I thought, whoa, these people are like ready. They're like ready to make art that expands in every way. So now that's what I'm doing here. I'm like, you know what? I don't care. It's gonna be cool because it's gonna be cool. So a lot of people ask me if this is it. When I make the collage, do I varnish it? Or do I add more tape or what do I do? Nope, this is it. I make sure that everything holds, nothing falls. And when someone wants to buy it, when I give it to somebody, I put it in a plastic and it's ready to go. So I think this is my collage, but I just realized that I have a B here. Oh yes. You guys, I think I made a collage. This is, this might be like the cutest collage I've ever made. Um, it's my nasty Winnie the Pooh and all he wants is his honey. It could be a metaphor, it could be an innuendo. I don't know, you decide. But at the end of the day, you are the artist, you're the creator, you are king, queen, whatever you want. Um, so I'm glad you're here. I hope you're having fun. Take a look at the prompt, giants, hashtag giants and show me your work. I'd love to see what you're doing. And remember, five extra points if you uh, manage to put in a little torn paper in your collage. This is Luis Martin, the art engineer, and there is much adventure to be had in this collage dream.